Hey guys, Pavlov here. This is a video response to Tough Thumbs, his uh, 200 subs contest. We had to dig out all our knives, show our collection, even the crap. So here it is, guys. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, thanks a lot. <laughs> that was a lot of work, but I think the prize is worth it. You know, getting every every knife out. So try and be quick here. So Gerber Easy Out and Skeleton, uh, I think, is in the name somewhere. This is Smith & Wesson. I think it's just called the Tonto Homeland Security. Uh, if you want a Smith & Wesson, this one's a good bet. Well, I've had it for a while now, and the lockup is still excellent. The handle is Zytel, but it's got a big-ass clip on it, you know. It's called the Homeland Security Sheep Foot. I don't like the pivot. I like the handle. It just fits perfectly. Even with that bump there. The coating is like super thick. And like tar kind of. I don't know. But I like the blade shape. This is a bird flight in G10. I would be carrying the hell out of this, but uh, the previous owner uh, dulled it down so much, like the the edge right here is almost round, almost. Once I get a sharp maker, I'll fix it. Uh, you know, I continue to work on it, but uh, I'm not getting anywhere. Here's a Kershaw Skyline. Lost, but found again, so I'm happy about that. Open on number six, stainless steel blade with the oak handle. This is, I'm finding this is stronger than I thought it was, so I'm very pleased with this knife. These openals are stronger than you think. Go back down here. This is a Smith & Wesson, I think it's just called Green G10. It's about 3 inch blade. My wife doesn't like it. Uh, this G10 on here, I like the color green, this green, but uh, see how rough that they cut it and they didn't smooth it uh, it is a cheaper knife but uh come on guys lockup's good so this is a safe bet for Smith & Wesson that one this one's even better though I like Hawkbill shape uh, it's a Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops Hawkbill I think it's also called the Extreme Ops Cutting Horse this is supposed to be G10, but it's obviously plastic. I don't know who they were trying to fool, but... Stainless steel. It's heavy. Lockup's good. This was about 10 bucks shipped off eBay. It's worth it. It's worth 20 bucks, I think. This is a Smith & Wesson Border Guard. I like the design. The desert camo here. I live in the desert. Uh, the thing I didn't like, the uh, liner was all the way over. Already worn out. Brand new. So I just tightened the fuck out of this pivot and squished uh, the Teflon bushings or washers and uh, locks up good now, but you really have to push with your thumb to open it. So I don't know what you want to think about that one. I'm not happy with that, Smith & Wesson. This is Cold Steel Paradox. It's a beautiful knife. You can actually open it pretty quickly. Um, I am having trouble getting it super razor sharp. So I won't carry it. Because I'm disappointed and it bothers me. But I'll fix it. I'll just hang on to it and fix it and then carry it. Uh, this is a CRKT M16 with the Zytel. This is a, these are super smooth flippers. Um, I've been flipping it quite a bit, just playing with it. Still got great lockup. Um, problem is though, like this rust, that rust, you can't really clean that. I guess I could have put oil on it before, but too late. There's a rust inside, see that? The bead blast uh, really tore up this metal um, allowed the rust to get in there pretty bad but I've been keeping the blade clean though so 
Whatever. Okay, go up here. This is a bird robin. Excellent little knife, guys. This is a spider co dragonfly FRN. It's, the fir it's not FRN, it's not the two. This is an excellent knife. This one's an OS 8. This one is a stainless steel dragonfly. Excellent knife. I really like this guy. These are two bird finches, one in plain edge and one fully serrated. They're about ladybug size. Excellent. This is a Kershaw leak. I used to just buy a knife and then use it, use it, use it, and then buy another one and use the hell out of that the next one. So that one has had a lot of wear. Still nice. This one is a bird Caracara 2. On the twos, uh, this choil area is thinner from here to here. That's the first thing I noticed. Um, this stainless steel model is really good quality. Generally, um, you know, all my bird knives came razor sharp. The build quality is excellent. Um, although I said before, you know, you can the spider coats are even better you can actually tell but for the price these are excellent this is a metal arc it's about delica size this is a crossbill I actually just bought I bought this for self-defense but uh I've been using it for utility uh, I actually can sharpen this badass so I'm very happy with this knife what else we got here, over here? Uh, the four Swiss Army classics. Um, Swiss Army will replace the the scales as they pop off, and they will. That's the only thing that fails on these knives is the scales will pop off. One of them I sent in didn't even have any scales anymore. I just kept using it, and then the other one fell off. And uh, they called me, and the only thing they asked was what color it was. And they also fill up the toothpicks and uh, tweezers for you. So I'll have these for the rest of my life. And that's a good thing. Okay, go over here. This is an Appalachian Trail frame lock. Couldn't find the name of them. My, uh, my wife's grandpa, Papa, he gave them to me. Here's a smaller one. I keep this one in my medicine cabinet and open contact bottles with them. You know, I get the plastic off the neck with this. Uh, here's a Spyderco Grasshopper. Very useful. I like the size is almost perfect. This is a honeybee. And the bug. And we'll move up here. Uh, okay, here's Caracara 1 in FRN. Combo Edge. I like the, the Combo Edge one, that one, so much that I had to get the plain edge one and I loved the blade shape so much I had to have a stretch I begged my wife for a stretch and I got one I'm spoiled I know um, the birds are good quality but uh, I had the same thing happen on both of these uh, that screw on the end that guy right there um, it was just it was sticking out and then I went to tighten it and uh, it just kept turning and turning and turning so I super glued them to the handles you know were separating on the ends so I super glued them probably could have used a better you know like a cement or something but uh, I just wired them shut with that aluminum wire here's some frost knives that fillet knife the folding one it actually looks like there's a lot of plastic there but uh, no, they just honeycombed the handle too, so not a lot. Here's the firefighter. This one's actually pretty good. Blue tick. Cat's eye and the vulture. This one's pretty good too. Frost vulture. This is the Cheyenne Skinner. Why do people use this pivot? I fucking hate these. Okay, that's my knives. He also said, uh, could show our shit, our favorite movie. This is my favorite. Dead Gentleman Productions, The Gamers. 
It's about role playing games like D&D. Um, I used to play every week with my friends in South Dakota and I just haven't picked it back up, but I love it. You know, it actually feels like you go through battles and war together and then you remember them and talk about them and shit like that. Dead Gentlemen, it's like a sketch comedy group. They make a lot of different movies. Like knockoffs of the Blair Witch Project, shit like that. I think you can find them online still. But, you know, if nobody's... If you're a gamer and nobody's ever gamed before and they need an introduction, this is an easy, funny way to do it. Um, the situations in here actually happen. So if you're interested or you want to know if D&D is fun, then check this out, guys. Also, I have another favorite movie, Akira Kurosawa's uh, Seven Samurai. You know, these Seven Samurai, they fight to protect this village. Uh, you know, half, about half of them die helping the village. They rescue the village, and, uh, you know, at the end, they're walking away, and the villagers are all like, oh, you know, whatever, bye, get the fuck out of here. We're done with you, so, you know, it was a thankless job, but they did it. So, I really like the Seven Samurai, too. We're supposed to say our our worst Christmas present. Uh, having trouble remembering a bad one. I'm not going to say, you know, what I didn't like this year. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Because anytime you get a gift, you know, they meant well. Uh, so... Hope I completed everything, uh, and I believe the worst Christmas gift was optional, but, uh, yeah. You know, everything I got this year was great. So, good luck everybody, thanks for the contest, goodbye.